the probably most frequently asked question in eFootball 2024. What is the best game plan? Today, I will answer this question and what would be better than having a look at the top ranking, the top 10 ranking on the PlayStation. So I will go through all of these players and I will talk about their formations and play styles which they are using and also i will talk about the most common players and the average team strength of all these top players let's start with the 10th place in the ranking this is him mp sam with almost 1700 points the division is really fresh you can see it above me it's the 5th of january so one day is gone and i think this is a nice proof how you can grind really fast into the top rankings with a rock solid formation which suits you really good and which suits also into the meta system let's start let's have a look how these guys are playing the things on which we will focus now are the manager so you can see it's crystal valbuena that means he is playing long ball counter style second point is his collective team strength with 3134 points which is really high and of course the most important part now his formation he is playing in a 4-2-1-3. It's the regular meta system with uh, two center backs and two full backs, which are really offensive. So you can see Trent Alexander-Arnold and Roberto Carlos. Of course, there would be now interesting to know his individual instructions. Even without that, you can see the system in general. This is almost like my formation, my players. The strength of this formation is that you are really compact and you have always a player who can receive the ball and can push the ball to the next player, to the next teammate. You have always an option beside you. That makes it really effective to build up your game, to counterattack your opponent. The weakness is that you are vulnerable in the defense, especially on the wings. If your opponent is coming with wingers, with midfielders on the wing, like left midfield, right midfield, because you have no power there, no impact there. And especially if this guy doesn't play with defensive individual instruction on his fullbacks, it could be even worse because the only wingers which he has are his fullbacks. And when they are running to the front, you will be completely open at the back on your wings. You're looking for the best formation and tactic videos for the most accurate player reviews and also tutorials for the offense, for the defense and any other eFootball related topic. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't miss any new upcoming video. Let's come to the ninth place and this is Almais. You probably heard his name already because he was the previous rank number one. You can see it here and I've made a YouTube video, one of my most successful videos, how I used his playstyle and played with his formation. You can check it out here above me guys and we will check out now his current formation. First of all, he's playing with Pioli, who is a quick counter manager. And then his collective team strength is 3115. His formation is a 4-3-3 flat. He is also using Nesta and Czech as the previous player. On the fullback position, he's got Araujo and Tomiyasu. Especially Araujo is a player which you will see very, very often. He is probably the best defender in game, especially on the right back position with his pace, with his defense abilities. And on the DMF position, he's using Gilberto Silva, an anchorman. What makes him special now is that he's playing with two CMFs. One, De Jong, second, Bellingham. So both whole players, which will attack a lot. So not so defensive minded CMFs, but more offensive minded DMFs. In the front, he is playing with one center forward and two second strikers, Maradona on the right side to cut inside and shoot with the left Ribéry on the left side to cut inside and shoot with the right foot both of them will make insanely good curl shots finesse shots his Rummenigge also really fast really agile at the front he's got a high pace high explosive forward this formation also reminds on the meta formation same strength and weaknesses as the long ball counter style this with quick counter is a little more risky because the defensive line will be really high way higher than the long ball counter style but you will be able to put on more pressure on the opponent to gain back the possession up from the pitch eighth place leo minalov let's see 1702 points 
now it's a little different he is playing with ten hawk he is also using the long ball counter style collective team strength is 3113 points but now we have a little difference because this guy is the first one now in the top 10 who's playing in a 442 system and the diamond system with one dmf two cmf and one amf again you can see check and nesta and araojo same goes for tomiyasu they are all using almost the same players dmf position here again via rao of course but this time it's the booster version and we also have De Jong at the left CMF position again. And I can tell by myself that De Jong is crazy good. For me, my most favorite CMF was always Kante, without a doubt. But right now, De Jong is about to replace him. This is absolutely crazy. His abilities in the front, in the back, never seen something like that before. Okay, in the AMF, he's playing with Kaka. And in the center forward position, he is using Kylian Mbappé, the Showtime version, which is, for me, probably the best Mbappé version. And Ruud Hulet. He's got one strong player, tall player, and one really fast player. Even that Hulet is also not the slowest one. With that, he's combining physicality with pace at the front. And he's becoming more unpredictable with that. The strength is definitely that he's got a high impact in the midfield. He will outnumber his opponent with the four midfielders here. In the attack, he is playing with two players. So mostly, most of the time, he will need to wait for at least Kaka to push to the front because with two players only in the front, it can be hard to score goals. So you need to have a little more patience in your build-ups or while you're counter-attacking. Rank number seven, Ilbeg Giova 89. Let's go. Inzaghi means he's playing on quick counter. Collective team strength is 3,121. Playing in a 4-2-1-3 system, meta system once again. At the front, you can already see Romanigue, Messi on the right side. Mbappé as a left second striker so again high explosiveness high pace combined with clinical finishes behind him he's playing with Pavel Nedved and Kante Showtime Kante is unreal probably the best box-to-box -box player in game behind him he's playing with Gilberto Silva and at the back he is playing with two fullbacks two center backs of course Araujo is included once again as a goalkeeper he is using Oliver Kahn which is in my opinion really underestimated for me he is belonging to the best three goalkeepers in game the number six in the ranking Vitinho the first one now who's playing with Tzaitzla which is also a quick counter manager his collective team strength is now under 3100 it's 3086 but again 442 system here he is playing with three center backs one left back hernandez gp version the first version and i'm telling you guys this one has got epic abilities big time abilities booster abilities it's just absolutely mind-blowing of course konami nerfed him and you're not able to get him anymore but if you're lucky enough to have him in your squad bro with good form in the center he is playing with gilberto silva in front of him, Vieira as a CMF. Left side, Ruud Hulit. And you can see this physicality, this strength is crazy. Varan Saliba, Gilberto Silva, Vieira and Ruud Hulit. Bro, this guy, especially in the air, has got a lot of advantages. On the right side, we can see again De Jong. And of course, we can see again Araujo as the center back. These two players from the Barcelona epic selection are one of the best choices in game at the front he is playing with salah as a second striker the blitz curler version which is really agile really explosive and one of the least players in game who's got like more than nine abilities above 90 plus on the left side of him it's the free mbappe bro every mbappe is insane okay Mbappé in general is a full meta player, fantastico. So he's got a high agility, high pace at the front combined with clinical finishes. And behind him, he's got physicality, lots of physical contact, high players, tall players. It's a nice combination to play with lofted passes and ground passes. This is a really balanced team in my opinion. Courtois at the back who makes it complete, one of the best goalkeepers 
in game so hard to score goals against him especially in long range shots i like that now we are in the top five ranking worldwide going for j victor as the fifth place he was a former rank one player this guy knows what he is doing using ten hack long ball counter collective team strength is 3110 and he is also playing in a 4-2-1-3 meta system you can see the most common players Araujo again here included his pace with the defense is unreal you can bring him above 90 in speed above 19 acceleration and his defense abilities all above 90 plus this is something which you won't find in eFootball never again dmf viera cmf pedri and amf the booster version of snyder and at the front you can see hulet as a center forward which is strong in the air strong in the ground with his curl shots with his explosiveness with his height for aerial duels unreal on the left center forward position you can see hoiminson once again with his blitz curlers he is both footed makes him super super strong on the right side we have again the booster version of Lionel Messi these big time versions of Messi are just too insane they are too broken too overpowered I can't complain about this formation fourth place Coco Bello with 1743 points while Buena once again so he's using long ball counter as his main team play style collective team strength is 3051 and once again you can see the 4 to one 3 system with two center forwards one second striker three center backs and one left back which is the player of the week version of robertson robertson belongs to one of the best fullbacks in game for me this formation and the selection of the players looks like that at the beginning he was like a road to glory player but the more time has passed the more he spent into the game with these most op most broken players you can see once again the big time version of Lionel messi this time it's the boot kissing one which i also prefer by myself at the left side again you can see many people are using hoi son now on the left center forward second striker position with his blitz curlers and in the center it's chevchenko in my opinion also an underrated player underestimated player he brings everything especially when you equip him with additional skills like double touch etc really clinical really fast good in the air good in dribblings chevchenko is good to go what i like in his formation is his dmf position he's using zakaria and for me he's reminding of Vieira. okay with his stature with his long legs with his style he's reminding of Vieira, especially for free to play players Zakaria is a really really good choice on the CMF he is using Bellingham nominating contract and what's also kind of interesting to me is that he's using Hakan Chalanolu on the AMF position for me he's a little too slow but with the ball in dribblings and passings especially also in set pieces really good to go I'm not so satisfied with his choice of Ter Stegen for me I don't find him really effective but they are definitely worse goalkeepers than him. Upamecano and Guardiol is a great combination. Fast and strong, both of them. The one is a build-up, the other one is a destroyer. Good choice. Also with Marquinhos on the right side. For me, one of the best centre-backs in game. You can do nothing wrong with that. The heat is increasing, guys. We are now at the top three ranking worldwide. And here you go. Eliminatix. Using Ten Hag long ball counter collective team strength here is 3115 and he's playing in a 4-2-1-3 again meta system with three center backs and one fullback which is Raul Cancelo in my opinion at least one of the best offensive fullbacks in game when not the best he's playing with Nesta the epic version also check in the goal right card as a center back it's the build-up version Saliba also we could see Saliba I think twice now great tall and fast is always a great combination Gilberto Silva as a DMF Xabi the booster version as a CMF which is insanely strong same goes for Nakamura these guys in my opinion are a little underestimated and now you can see on the right center forward position Lionel Messi for me this is his best position guys when you're asking me where should I use Messi it's this position right center forward right second striker position 
why in the center i don't like this play style in the middle i'm talking about there as a center forward i'm looking for fox in the boxes i'm looking for goal poachers something like that on the amf position i also prefer whole players but on the right side with his play style with his abilities especially his abilities he is sensational he is going in one-on-one -on -one situations he is able to make strong shots from that angle into the long corners he's able to make probably the best curl shots finesse shots in game from cutting inside and then scoring into the long corner for me this is the best position for him and you can see it in the top 10 ranking too that most of the players are using Messi and most of the players are using Messi at that formation, at that position. On the left side, he's using Ruud Hullet. What makes this special to use Hullet on the wing or on the side is that most of the time you will face with Hullet the, from the point of view of the opponent, the right back. And full backs in general are shorter. Okay, so let's say he is facing Joao Cancelo on the right back side okay he's playing left back but I'm talking about the opponent or we can also talk about someone like Albert Ferrer etc etc many many fullbacks who are shorter when you now play a lofted pass to Ruud Hullet the probability is high that he will face a short player in the aerial duel and win the ball for you can give it through to Romario or Messi or Nakamura and make the game pass from there and create a goal chance or even score a goal so this aerial factor combined with his pace and curl shots too his curl shots are fantastic really accurate really precise that's a really good choice to play him on that side about romario i don't need to lose lots of words for me romario is the best forward in game even this legend version with this legend version look at my statistic guys i have scored thousands of goals thousands of assists with him this is unreal he is super super good for me for me the most irreplaceable player at the front the number two worldwide in the playstation ranking saif el hacker and probably you've heard his name before he is the current global esports games world champion one month ago and i also played against him i've uploaded a youtube video where i played against him in the division which you can check out here let's see what his current formation looks like crystal valbuena means a long ball counter collective team strength 3090 and now he's the first one who is playing with three at the back in the top 10 formation probably he's testing and experimenting but this doesn't count right now so we are talking about the formations and you can see he is playing in a 3-4-3 bastoni maldini at Mison. so three solid defenders also pass defenders playing with gilberto silva and malota Matheus at the back in the dmf position and bellingham in the cmf position so in the center he is really really compact in the front he is playing with a left midfield kilian mbappe on the right side as i mentioned before again it's the boot kissing Lionel messi this time it's his best position with his pace with his finishing just superb at the front he's playing with Rafa Leao and look at this Cristiano Ronaldo the free version one physicality height combined with pace the strength of this formation is his dominance in the midfield and his ability to attack to create goal chances with so many players at the front the weakness definitely is the defense especially on the wings you are vulnerable you have lots of spaces which the opponent can take an advantage of the special strength in this formation for me is that he's got a hybrid formation hybrid in dominance in the center and in dominance on the wings so he's got many many center players here with two dms one cmf also the three center backs but also putting pressure from the wings as a left midfield and right wing forward i like that combination and that constellation the first place in the playstation ranking world world clap by mv he is not an unknown name for me he is belonging to the best in the world of course when he is here the first place but i also know him as a player i also played against him in a tournament final i also uploaded that video on my youtube channel check it here above me in the corner he was in the top eight of the iesf world championships this is a fantastic player fantastic guy let's see how he is playing like side slam means he is playing quick counter collective team strength is 3094 he is playing in a 442 
system with two AMFs, one CMF, one DMF, three center backs, one fullback. His goalkeeper is Czech once again. We've seen him many, many times now. Also Maldini, Tomiyasu, really common players, as well as Messi, the boot kissing one. And you can see he's again on the right side, on the right AMF position, where he is able to cut inside. On the left side, he's playing with Neymar. So he's got two really strong dribblers on the wings as AMFs and two really fast and edgy players at the front with the legend Romario once again and Kylian Mbappé the free version in the center we've now seen sometimes also this Jude Bellingham nominating contract I also played him and I can say that he's really solid in the back he's playing with three destroyers in my opinion this is a little too offensive it's too aggressive I know that destroyers are leaving their position more often than build up so I always like the structure of build ups and destroyers combined but this is one of the best players in this world he can do that of course he won't suffer from it that much but in top ranking games i wouldn't prefer to play with that everybody how he's preferring it this is just my two cents for that this formation is especially strong against the meta formation because you have the dominance here with four midfielders you can outnumber the opponent you can put pressure from the center you can put pressure from the wings especially with so strong players you know it looks like he's got four forwards with Messi Neymar Mbappé and Romario the problem which comes into my mind in his midfield is that he is lacking little in defense he's got no strong defense oriented players there even that Jude Bellingham can do the job as a CMF but when you're running back especially Messi and Neymar are not a good help to gain back the possession this is a little weakness but with four at the back and Reichardt in front of it he will do the job but this 4-4-2 is more offensive oriented than defensive oriented you have to be really good in the defense while we are talking about sides like quick counter your defensive line will be really high they will push a lot you have to have really really strong defense skills to play with that formation but if you're able to do that you will be able to smash everybody especially with this offense power offensive power and you can see it in the ranking he is the first place not without a reason I will finalize this video now with a comparison and with the statistics of the top 10 players. The collective strength of the top 10 players is 3,103 points. We have 4 players who are playing with quick counter and 6 players who are playing with long ball counter. Formation wise, we have 1 player who is playing 3 at the back with a 3-4-3 system. Three players who are playing in a 4-4-2 system, of course in a different way. And six players who are using the 4-3-3 system also in different positions in different ways. As we could see, the 4-3-3 formation with the long ball counter team play style is the most common one, is the most used one. I've made the complete breakdown, a detailed review about this meta formation. Check it out here, Habibis. Make sure to hit the like button. For me, that's it. I hope this video helped you. I will leave you with a nice and smooth... Um, Junge.